Welcome back. You're watching Halton News. I'm joined in studio now with Mayor of Oakville, Rob Burton. Thanks for joining us here today. It's great to be here. And we've been discussing the, I guess, changes that are to come to Oakville Town Hall in more than one way. Of course, you have the, uh, the new council uh, coming into play in the next uh, month or so. But as you had been preparing for these two new seats, now there's going to be some changes completely to council. I think you're on to something there. We, um, in order to accommodate our growth and get our fair share of seats on the regional council, and you know, the average Oakville person to this day, I'm not sure is really aware that we live in a split level municipality where there's an upper floor that does half of the municipal powers and a lower floor called Oakville. The upper floor is called Halton and the lower part of the municipality is called Oakville and sort of half the municipal power is in Oakville and half are in uh, the region of Halton. Mm -hmm. um, and the region of Halton is growing really fast and so there's a different configuration of seats on the regional council at Halton and that kind of forced a change in the number of seats on the Oakville council. So where we have seven wards now instead of six wards mm -hmm. and something like just a little bit less than 40 percent of Oakville voted um, in the municipal election and so many of them are probably now aware that there's seven wards but you can't be sure that everybody knows and the result is that we needed to enlarge our council chamber uh, to accommodate the, uh, the new um, members of council. Mm -hmm. But we also needed to change the council chamber because the, uh, the air conditioning and heating system was old and out of um, you know, it was out of its service life, and there were all kinds of other issues with the place. So it's not really true that it's only being done, you know, the work is only being done because of the two new seats. But into that mix, I threw the additional idea that um, we're going to need someday a new town hall, and when we need a new town hall, we ought to put it in the, we ought to take it back to its roots to the old downtown Oakville. Right. So until 1962, the Oakville Town Hall was downtown on Lakeshore. And then in 1962, when Oakville got merged into Trafalgar Township, the Town Hall moved up to Dundas. And then when that Town Hall got accidentally destroyed, the Town Hall moved, still in the 60s, to the top of Red Hill, where it is now mm -hmm. at Trafalgar, just above Iroquois Shore, or just above the QEW, if you like. And, um, and it's been there ever since the 60s. In 1974, when the region of Halton was created, a second municipal hall got created on Brawny Road. So uh, we, we actually, unbeknownst to the average person, we have two municipal halls. We got a lower one on Trafalgar and we got an upper one on Brawny. And it's being enlarged too as a result of growth. Uh, but someday, when the Midtown area around the GO station, around the Oakville GO station, when that grows, and it's not clear when that'll happen, there's gonna there will be a bus rapid transit bridge and it'll go right through the existing town hall. That could be 10 years from now, that could be 20 years from now. Right. And the, the, um, that project will, will pay for a new town hall somewhere. And it can be near there, it can be in any ward that you like. Uh, you can have any criteria you want for where you want your town hall to be. But for me, returning to its historic roots makes the most sense. And having the three or 400 employees in the town hall in the downtown would, would help the downtown economy. And uh, you know you'd have daytime life in the in the village there, mm -hmm. and uh, you'd have fewer empty stores to complain about. So all these things are linked together in a funny way. And the variable is the the confusing part is there's no idea. No one can tell when the growth around the midtown is going to happen. And the reason for that is that 40 percent of the land in the midtown area around the Oakville Go Station is owned by the province of Ontario. And the province of Ontario is the one with the law that says that that's the growth center. And the province of Ontario is in its own way in terms of uh, not letting a, their own growth center happen. 
Right. So, you know, we don't get to tell the province what to do, they tell us what to do. And we stand around waiting for them to get out of their own way and make the growth that they claim is going to go there, go there. So at the end of the day, the council chambers will be? The council chambers are going to be where they are now, and they'll open in February. And on December 3rd, the new council will be sworn in in the atrium, uh, in the south atrium of the of the present town hall. And I think it'll be 10, 15, 20 years before there's a new town hall. But okay. when there is, we should make up our mind where we want it to be. Right. And the way it takes, you know, it takes Oakville a long time to agree on things. Probably take us 20 years to get this settled. <laughs> so I think we should start the conversation. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us here today. My pleasure. It's always fun to talk about the future. Absolutely.